pocket computer from the 1980s. It's a little programmable calculator style device that hobbyists and collectors still love today. So it's got that retro computing charm. Do you know how to program it? For sure. The Sharp PC-1250A is typically programmed in BASIC, which is kind of neat and pretty accessible. You basically type in your BASIC code line by line on its little keypad and then run it. It's a bit like using a pocket-sized retro computer just for fun. Okay, tell me how to write a program on it. Absolutely. Let me keep it nice and concise. On the Sharp PC-1250A, you'd enter BASIC program line by line using its keypad. For example, if you want a simple program that just prints hello, you type something like 10 print hello. Then you just want it and it'll display hello on the screen. That's all right. really all there is to getting started. All right. You're let me, welcome. Let me try it. 10 print hello. Yep. You've got it. Just type that line in and then add the next one for ending the program. Once you're done, you can run it and see that hello pop right up. It says, Have fun experiment. It, it says 10 colon print hello. Ah, gotcha. So for the PC-1250A, you want to put hello in quotes so it knows its text. Just a small tweak. Type it as print hello with the quotes. All right. That should do the... All right, hold on. Great. Hold on. Space. Quotes. What kind of quotes? Single or double? Oh, wait. I only have double. Okay. Uh, yep, double. Hello. Exactly. You okay. got it. Just... All right, now it says awesome. that. All right, so... So how do I run this thing? Sure. Once you've got your lines entered, you can just hit whatever key is assigned to run on the PC 1250A. Usually there's a dedicated run or exit key that starts the program. Once you press that, no. your little basic code will... I don't see it. It's just a regular keyboard with different characters on it. There's no run key. There's a run switch. Ah, uh, gotcha. In that case, yep, on some of those pocket computers, there's actually a little physical run switch or a mode switch you flip to run your program. Just go ahead and toggle that to the run position, and that should start it right up. Then uh, you'll see your no, hello. No, I don't see anything. Ah, uh, got it. Sometimes these vintage machines can be a bit quirky. Just double check if there's maybe a combination of keys, like a shift or a mode key you need to press along with it. If there's a manual or a little label on the device that says how to execute, that might help too. No, but no worries. That's not it. It doesn't do anything.